Hello, welcome back to our outdoor cooking series. My name is Karina Boxnick. I'm the State 4-H Camping Coordinator. In our last session, we talked about things to consider on where to have a campfire. Now we're going to move on into starting that campfire. For this session, we're going to talk about starting campfire with wood and materials that you find outside. You can always make your campfire with charcoal if you have access to that and it's in an appropriate location. But please make sure you follow safety considerations when using charcoal and lighter fluid. Make sure all those fumes from your lighter fluid dissipate before you go ahead and light that fire. Um, so some things to consider when using wood. Please make sure if you're in a wilderness situation or a state park or um, national park that you're not cutting any green materials. Don't whack limbs off the of trees or, or cut down small trees. Please find things that are already dead and on the ground. Um, we want to make sure we leave those campsites better than we found them. That way they're there for us to use later on. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already gathered a variety of materials. Um, you want to have a range of sizes in your objects that you're going to use in your fire. Um, you need them to help you get your fire started, but also maintain that fire and to have coals for whatever you're cooking when you move on to that point. So I've collected some dry grass, which burns really well and really hot, which will help me get my fire started. So I'm going to put it as my base layer. And I've got a few other kind of little branches and some sticks. Um, I'm going to add a few more little twigs. I tried to find some stuff around the house that was dry that would start this fire fairly well. I'm going to not pack it too tight and with anything real big just yet because I want to make sure there's enough airflow in there for the fire to get started. I also have from a dead cedar tree. Um, some of these little branches that will also burn well. So remember this is a fire and it is hot. Make sure you have permission. You can also use commercial fire starter little sticks that you can put in there to help you get it started, especially if it happens to be in an area where your materials are fairly wet, um, just to kind of help maintain that heat until you can get something started and a good fire going. I'm going to start adding some larger materials in there while it's burning. As those smaller sticks get started, I'm going to start adding bigger sticks. Um, the sticks that are about wrist size work really well for having coals if you're cooking on a Dutch oven. So I like to get quite a few in, in there as early as I can. That way I can get my coals started for cooking later. And like I said, you don't want to stack it with too big of a material too fast or it will put your fire out. Um, you still need that air in there. So I'm going to kind of TP it around in this early stages just so enough airflow can seep in there. Poke some more little stuff underneath. And the joys of campfire is the smoke. Campfires are one of those things, especially if you're using wood, you have to take care of it. Otherwise, it will go out on you. Alright. I will keep adding wood to this fire for us to cook on, um, but that's the basics on how to get your fire started. Stay tuned for our next episodes and we'll start cooking.